everyone. I'm coming on today to show these um, mini file folder loaded pockets that I've been making. I found these out on YouTube watching, I think, American Lady, but I'm going to leave her link of where she showed how she made them. And they just kind of inspired me and I thought, oh, I'd like to make some of them and put goodies in because these would be good to send out in friend mail and stuff. So, um, I've made this one and I've put like this typewriter on what, uh, a die that I got and I've put friend, I've put some paper and washi tape and obviously I use this paper, it's like a watercolour effect, pink and I've put goodies in, I've put some uh, cards that I made myself so they could be like how you do project life cards but I've made my own I put a little bag of these uh, die cuts and I just put a little topper on. I've put some bling in. I put in some rainbow uh, post-it notes and some tags and some just little ephemera and what you can use on your cards and things. And then I've just put washi tape up here. But that's how the file folder looks. And that's the reason you call, you call it um, a mini little loaded file folder. Is because they're mini that you're loading up with goodies to share out. And when you just want something nice um, and small to send out. What's not going to cost a fortune with like a big... Uh, loaded envelope and that they are nice to make but sometimes these little ones with some goodies in nice to send out and I made them and stuck them down but I've just put some uh, staples on just to keep it together a bit better and then I made this rain uh, unicorn theme one with the same with all unicorn stickers and everything in the unicorn then um, I loved using all my different dyes like the love and then the friend one and obviously using that typewriter and the paper and then I thought to make a vintage one and I put this vintage looking butterfly there and it's just I made these handmade uh, paper flowers I made these from my scallop punch that I have and I've made a video of these before, but maybe I can always do it again. Just put a little topper. And I have a, that silver flower there. That I've got a die for that. And them little white flowers are from Home Bargains. So just using out your stash, really. It gets you to use more at your stash. And oh, they're just nice just to sit there for a few hours and make them. And I put some vintage looking tags. And paper. So that's them. So today I thought I'd come on and show how I made it. So you're going to need a, card, a piece of card from 6 inches and this one's already been cut down but it's 6 inches um, across and then eight and a half down and then you're going to have to score at three and a half that's where you can fold it and then you've got that like that already at the start of it then this is where your um, envelope punch board comes in so then what you want to do is put this corner into the little part there as you can see and you want to punch that corner off like that you can do it more over if you want it like where have I just put them like that I cut that kind of one down but then I left that one just how this one is but this makes the little file, how it looks like a file folder. Then I could, I'm going to turn it 
and I put this point to the free and then punch so then I'm left with this and then what I do is because I want to keep that I go and cut this side what I haven't scored on the edge so I'm just going to measure that up actually on the envelope punch board with the line in there so I know I have to cut out So I'm going to cut this way, away, this part away. I haven't scored that evenly, but I'm just going to do that and be fine. So now you, there you are, it's coming together. Now you need to do with this bottom part one. And I did make a few mistakes when I did this, so I'll just be careful and show you. So we've got that one on that side, now we need to make it on this side. So you need to use this corner, pull it in the punch again, and you've got that. Then go with this corner to the free, and punch, and then we've got to remember we've got to cut out this side. So that's where it comes in. To score again and you cut that side so then you end up with like that can you see it and then obviously you just stick down the sides uh, I'd probably best to use uh, the red uh, double sided sticky tape but I've ran out of that so I've been using this one and it is sticky but I just staple it as well to keep everything together and then now you just decorate it and with this one because of the red paper I was thinking to do Alice in Wonderland some papers that I've got I was going to use the, pa the Alice papers out of here. This is from Home Bargains. So I'm going to have a play about and I can come back. So this is my one, what I've made. Um, I've put some of this paper up here in the inside. I just measured it down. I put some here. And I've put some heart washi tape for the Queen of Hearts and the rabbit here with the hearts on. And on the back I've put the Mad Hatter. And I, it says, in this style ten, like the ten and a half, like. Um, and then, oh, I've put like a little heart there just to cover up of the staples underneath so it would be more stronger. And I had some scraps, this is one bit of the scrap left what I'm going to try and make something with. But I made this card and I've put a heart there and a heart there. So that would be in there and I'll be thinking of other things I could put in and some things related to like Alice and everything. And that's it. So I hope you like this video of uh, me showing how to make these... Um, mini loaded file fires file folders sorry i'm just trying to find where the other ones have gone here they are so these are all the ones what i've made what i showed earlier so i hope you've liked this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and check out all my other videos uh, feel free to comment in the comments and say hi and stuff and I'll speak to you soon bye